Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video we are going to understand how to notify team on Slack channel for cognitive form submission. So I'm an owner of a digital marketing agency and I have created a feedback form for my clients using cognitive forms. So now here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive new cognitive form submission then automatically I want to notify my team about the feedback received on a Slack channel. So here to automate this entire process I need to connect my cognitive form with my slack channel using an automation software named as public connect so to learn this process step by step let me take you to my screen Welcome to my screen. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that as the owner of a digital marketing agency, I use cognitive forms to gather client feedback and by setting up notifications to my slack and by setting up notifications to my Slack channel for every new feedback, I can ensure my team stays updated in real time. This streamlines our workflow, allowing us to quickly respond to client needs and collaborate effectively, ultimately improving our service and client satisfaction. So here to automate this entire process, I need to connect my cognitive forms with my Slack channel using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus it keeps everything organized and error free so you can focus on growing your business hustle free. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect and you can visit it by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. And here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in here you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications I am going to use Pabli Connect. Now this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection I need to create a workflow first. So for that here I am going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I am going to give the name as notify team on slack channel for cognitive form submission. And here I am going to select my folder as automations. You can select the folder as per your need. Also you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect you have to click on this learn more hyperlink given over here. And by clicking on this it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect. So now moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window you can see we have successfully created a workflow and here on my screen you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here in my trigger step I am going to select my trigger application as copy cognitive forms as I am receiving new feedbacks through cognitive forms. So cognitive forms is an easy to use online form builder that lets you create forms for surveys, registrations, payments and more. It's popular because it offers customizable templates and powerful features like calculations, conditional logic and payment collection all without needing coding skills. People use cognitive forms to collect information quickly and securely making it ideal for businesses, even planners and anyone who needs to gather responses or process payments. Whether you're organizing an event, running a business or gathering feedback, cognitive forms makes it simple and efficient. So here in my cognitive forms trigger step, I'm going to select my trigger event as new entry. So that whenever I'm going to receive new entry through my cognitive forms, then automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response. Or you can say automatically this entire workflow should get triggered. And now here after selecting my trigger event, you can see I've received a webhook URL. That means here I'm going to use this webhook URL to connect my 
my cognitive account with Pabbly Connect. So here following the instructions given below. Firstly, I'm going to copy this Webhook URL and here I've already logged in my cognitive forms account. So this is my cognitive forms account and here you can see all the forms which I've created till now using cognitive forms. And here I'm going to use this form which is named as feedback form. So I'm going to open it. And here inside my form under this built option, we are going to select post JSON data to a website option given the left side bar. And here for the submit entry endpoint, we are going to enter the webhook URL that we have received in our Pabli's workflow. So I'm going to remove this previously existing webhook URL and here I'm going to enter the new webhook URL that I've received in my Pabli's workflow. So this is my webhook URL and now here after entering the webhook URL, I'm going to click on the save given over here. And now here after saving the changes, I'm going to click on this publish option given over here. And here you can see we have received the shareable link over here. That means we have successfully set up a webhook inside our cognitive forms. Or you can say that we have successfully connected our cognitive forms with Pabli Connect. So now moving back to my Pabli's workflow and here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a webhook response, we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission, we need to generate a test response in our cognitive forms. So for that, let me take you back to my form. And here I'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission. First name as test, last name as user, a random phone number. Here I'm going to enter the company name as XYZ company. Here for the email, I'm going to enter the email as test at the rate publitudes.com. Here I'm going to enter the service feedback. So this is the service feedback and now I'm going to click on this submit. And here you can see we have successfully submitted a response over here. So now let's go and check our Pabli's workflow. And here you can see we have successfully received a response over here where we have received the service feedback which says best digital marketing agency we have ever worked with. Here you can see the phone number. Here you can see the last name, full name, first name. Here you can see the form name, scrolling little town. And here you can see some other details as well such as the email and the company name. So with this, we have successfully set up our trigger over here. So once we have received new submission through our cognitive forms, I want to alert my team on our Slack channel for the same. So here in this action step, I'm going to select my action app application as Slack. So Slack is a communication platform designed for teams and workplaces, allowing people to chat, share files and collaborate on projects in real time. It organizes conversations into channels, making it easy to keep track of different topics and projects. People use Slack to improve team communication, reduce email overload and streamline workflows. It integrates with many other tools and services, making it a central hub for work-related communication and collaboration. So here in my Slack action step, I'm going to select my action event as send channel message. So that when now we are going to receive new form submission through our cognitive forms, then automatically our team is going to get a notification on our Slack channel for the same. So now here to connect my Slack with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Slack account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this connect with Slack. And then here you can see it is asking me to enter the token type. So here in the help text it says enter the token type as either user or bot. Check the documentation to find out how to get it. So here by clicking on this learn more hyperlink, it will take you to a documentation where you can see some instructions to see how you can find out the token type. So here I'm going to enter my token type as user over here and then I'm going to click on the save. And here you can see Pabli Connect is requesting for the access for my workspace. So here I'm going to give the access by clicking on this allow button given over here as your data is secured with Pabli. Authorization successful. So here you can see we are now successfully connected. So moving forward and then here it is asking me to select the channel. So here I need to select the channel where I want to send the notification alerts. So here I already created a channel with the name customer feedback and I want to send the feedback alerts on this particular Slack channel. So moving back to my Pabli's workflow and here for the channel I'm going to search for my channel which is named as customer feedback. So this is my channel so here I'm going to select it and now here after selecting my channel, here it is asking me to enter the message. So here in this message field, I need to enter the message which I want to send as an alert to my team on my Slack channel whenever I'm going to receive a new feedback through cognitive forms. So here I'm going to enter the message as 
New feedback alert, client name, company, phone number, email feedback. Let's review and respond. So here you can see I've taken some important details such as the client name, company, phone number, email and feedback. And here in front of these fields, I need to enter their values. So now here instead of entering these values manually, here I'm going to map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here I'm going to map the data from the response that I've received in my trigger step. Mapping makes the text dynamic so that when no, you're going to receive new entry through our cognitive forms, then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one. So I'm going to search for my client's name. So this is my client's name. So here I'm going to map it. Here for the company name, I'm going to search for the company name. So this is my lead's company name. So here I'm going to map it. Here for the phone number, I'm going to search for the phone number. So this is my client's phone number. So here I'm going to map it. Here for the email, I'm going to search for my client's email. This is my client's email. Here for the feedback, I'm going to map the feedback that we have received. So this is the service feedback. And now here after entering all the required details, we have successfully completed our message over here. So now moving forward and then here it is asking me for the image URL, all text, bot name, bot icon and some other fields. So here these fields are not required fields where I'm going to leave them blank. But if you want to add any other detail, then you can do it as per your need. And here for the auto expand links, I'm going to select true, link usernames and channel names true, reply broadcast false and here this thread message ID is not required field so here I'm going to leave it blank and now here after entering all the required details I'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here and here you can see we have received a successful response that means we have successfully sent a new feedback alert on our slack channel to our team so now let's go and check it and here you can see we have successfully received a new alert over here which says client name as test user, company name as XYZ company. Here you can see the phone number, email and feedback as best digital marketing agency we have ever worked with. Let's review and respond. So with this, we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation with real-time example to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation, what we are going to do is that we are going to submit a new response in our cognitive forms. And for that, let me take you back to my form. Here I'm going to refresh it. And now here I'm going to enter some another dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name, I'm going to enter the name as dummy, last name as lead, a random phone number. Here for the company name, I'm going to enter the name as ABC company. And then here for the email, I'm going to enter the email as dummy at the rate pablitudes.com. And here for the service feedback, I'm going to enter the feedback as overall good experience. And then I'm going to click on the submit. And here you can see we have successfully submitted the form. So now let's go and check our Slack channel. And here you can see we have successfully received a new feedback alert with the client name as dummy lead, company name as ABC company. Here you can see the phone number, email and feedback as overall good experience. So with this, we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as cognitive forms and our action as Slack. So that when now we are going to receive new form submission through our cognitive forms, then automatically our team is going to get an alert message on our Slack channel for the same. Okay. Okay, so these were the steps to how to notify team on Slack channel for cognitive form submission. Now, if you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. So now if you have any doubt, then you can email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any query, then you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can simply visit our website that is www.pabli.com. So now if you liked our video, then please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.